Hello everyone, welcome back to our first weekly video regarding the new unit, which is anime analyze. So generally speaking, whenever we talk about the concept, we talk about the use of animals that are used in a very uh, supportive and therapeutic basically way. That would enhance eventually the human well-being in connection. So in a lot of texts, a lot of animals um, includes uh, basically therapy dogs, emotional support animals, and even animals that are used in a uh, in various ways of basically therapy, whether it be emotional support, uh, promoting empathy or compassion, reducing stress, or even breaking down barriers. So idea and such a concept play a significant role in strengthening human connections by offering comfort, support, and even opportunities for empathy. Now to move on with the concept itself, we're going to learn more about key concept related and global context. So starting off with connections, context, style, theme, and last identities and relationships. So we're going to link all of these concepts together in order for us to formulate at the end the SOI that has to do with our unit. And yet, before we start and delve deeply into the related and key concepts and even global context, we're going to have a lot of questions in mind to be answered. So what is the main message of values a story conveys? What techniques and structures help us understand the surrounding context of something? What are the different choices author make in their writing style? And how can we get across different ideas in our communication? Lastly, why is human dignity a fundamental uh, what is it considered as a fundamental aspect of ethical and moral considerations in our interactions and even societies? Starting off with identities and settings. So identities refer actually to characteristics, traits, beliefs, values, and cultural affiliations that define individuals or groups. These identities can be shaped by various factors, for example, including personal experiences and social interactions, historical context, and cultural background. The setting of a story, whether it's physical location, time period, or cultural environment, can significantly influence and shape the identities of the characters within the narrative. The way characters interact with their surroundings and the people they encounter in a particular setting can lead to the development of uh, or the transformation of their basically identities at the end. Now, whenever we think about context, style, and theme, we try to basically refer to the specific um, social justice issues that individuals for groups of allies can focus on. So, for instance, an ally might align themselves with, with themes like racial equality, um, disability, advocacy, gender, equity, depending on the specific context in which they are basically advocating. So, in essence, again, the concept of uh, context style theme in relation to human allies could refer to specific focused approaches or awareness that they bring to their advocacy efforts based on social justice issues that they support and the particular context in which they basically operate. And now moving on to the second uh, basically most important part that we have which is communication and setting. So they refer actually to the exchange of information, ideas, emotions and thoughts between individuals or groups. Now, the setting itself plays a crucial role in influencing how characters communicate and interact with each other. So the cultural norms uh, and expectations, physical surroundings of a particular setting can impact the way characters express themselves verbally and non-verbally and even through their actions. And now let's move on to our main focus in our unit that is an explanatory essay. So generally speaking, it is an academic writing that aims to provide a clear and coherent explanation or interpretation of a certain specific topic, idea, or even process. The primary goal of an explanatory essay is to inform, educate the reader by presenting facts, evidence, and logical analysis of the subject matter. And again, the most important part is that, you know, it's just like any other basically essay. You start off with an introduction, with a hook, again, the thesis statement that has to clearly state the main idea that you're trying to basically explain in your essay. Body paragraph, starting off with topic, explanation, logical organization, transitions, evidence and support that has to do with real, reliable sources, data facts, examples, clarifications, counter arguments if it's again and that kind of point is going to be a bit optional because it depends on you know addressing any potential counter arguments if you had any and your conclusion that it's about restating the thesis statement 
closing thoughts and avoiding basically introducing any new information that is very important and lastly do not forget to proof uh, read your writing part itself and carefully review and edit your essay for clarity coherence uh, grammar punctuation even spelling errors and now to follow up with the uh, basically assessment criteria regarding the writing section now in the writing section we have to focus on clarifying the purpose so determine the purpose of your narrative all the time so are you informing are you reflecting something uh, are you entertaining people? So having a clear purpose will guide your writing and ensure the narrative stays actually focused. Second of all, we have to focus on selecting a central idea. So choose a central idea or a thesis that your narrative will revolve around. Thirdly, you have to focus on organizing your thoughts. So you can never write random thoughts. Before you begin writing, outline the main points and events you want to include in your narrative and that in that basically way this is like very helpful for you we have to start with a strong uh, beginning crafting and compelling introduction that grasps actually the reader's attention and sets the tone eventually for the rest of the narrative lastly we have to provide basically context we have to provide sufficient context for the events and characters in the narrative itself that actually helps the reader to understand the background and the significance of what you're trying to describe in the whole basically writing essay. And don't forget that the structure and the clarity of structures are very basically important too. So you have to follow a clear structure that includes actually an introduction, body, paragraphs, and lastly a conclusion.